I think the patient gains the most. Um, the patient is better served by having access to the pharmacies. Um, but as well, professionally, I think pharmacists gain quite a lot and physicians also gain a lot because the burden of care is transferred to the pharmacist for administering vaccines. We've seen some studies where there's been a greater uptake of influenza vaccines. So there's been some statistics that have said we've gone from 28% to 30%. And we've also found that over two influenza vaccines, the province of Alberta reported that there was over $2 million in savings in direct health care costs during these influenza seasons. I work in the province of Alberta and we vaccinate against all disease. So uh, any publicly funded vaccine we administer, as well as uh, vaccines that aren't funded, we also will administer. I think you always have to allocate the proper amount of time to administer vaccines. And sometimes that means a pharmacy will run a specific influenza clinic. The influenza vaccinations can be hundreds per week, even up to thousands per week. So as we know, serious side effects to vaccinations are quite rare. Um, if there is a serious side effect, it is up to the province to legislate uh, the reporting. So in Alberta, we have three days to report. We also inform the patient to contact us as a pharmacist if there is an adverse effect. And uh, to report, it's a simple form that's on your, you can pull up on your phone and submit.